there are instances outside of the world of Wi-Fi and outside of the world of Bluetooth, because those are both standards, that there could just be um, ISM band unlicensed uh, signals in the 2.4 gigahertz band or in the 5 gigahertz band. And we have two bars here that will kind of aggregate and give you the total energy in the 2.4 gigahertz band. And that's called CW or continuous wave measurements. What, what might that be? The 2.4 is, can often be a microwave oven. Uh, it could be a baby monitor or camera. Uh, same too with the 5 gigahertz. Uh, sometimes it's going to be point-to-point -point video. It could be a drone flying in the area. So really the culmination of that RF energy is indicated in a bar again against this graph here so you could see what the signal strength intensity is. And you do have the same control over it. You have that ability to actually adjust and put an auto threshold in here so you can scan or you could do a manual threshold, totally up to the user. If you want to scan and adjust 2.4 gigahertz continuous wave and five gigahertz continuous wave, what are examples of signals here? It's really the aggregate of things such as a microwave oven that operates in the 2.4 gigahertz, or maybe a baby monitor or a drone operating in the five gigahertz range. You'll see that bar here. To properly adjust these signals, since they're part of the continuous wave uh, cellular bands just up at higher frequencies, we need to enable our cell scan. So we turn the scan list on, it'll go red when it's on, and of course all of these things will be um, setting off the trigger, but as well as these if it breaks a threshold. So if you notice, my thresholds here are both set to manual, they're relatively high. I may want to adjust those to lower it down because we see the energy is a little bit lower. So to do that simply, I would click on manual threshold and it will blink. Then I can actually go over here and click on the five gigahertz band, for example. And you'll notice also that the arrow at the top will blink red corresponding to the manual threshold. Now I can lower that threshold down and you'll notice once it's down a little lower, boom, again, it triggers it on the five gigahertz continuous wave signal. Once it gets above the threshold, it nicely indicates it in red with a slight peak hold on it to make it very easy to see that that range um, was detected above it. I'm gonna just shut these off here, and you can do this too. If you're just analyzing a particular band, I can isolate the individual bands so I won't be detecting on any of these, and I'm only analyzing these two CW categories, which really helps to make it easier for you to isolate certain signals that you're trying to, to identify. So again, this is blinking, so I can adjust this up a little bit more. I'm gonna bring that up here. So now again, my alert won't go off because it's not breaking the threshold. Click on this again. Now I wanna hop back to this one, the 2.4 gigahertz. I wanna try something different. You see that the detection level is very high here. In some cases, I may want to follow this carefully and just do it above the noise floor a certain amount. I can now detect or, or click on here to just detect in the auto threshold mode and you'll see that it'll start blinking. And again, I'll click now here for 2.4 and I'll change my cursor here. Once I hit this again, look what happens now, it's interesting. Now you'll see this will move up and down over time based upon where the signal strength is. You see how it's hopping up and down a little bit? So it's really looking at whatever your noise floor is for 2.4 and it sets a, a delta that it will move up or down. This is extremely handy if you wanna monitor signals but you don't want it constantly alerting you. So you just wanna kinda of follow where the RF noise floor is and if it's a really strong 2.4 gigahertz signal, for example, it will spike and peak up and it will set that off there. And again, you can just as easily disable that by uh, clicking on here. If I wanna go to manual maybe, I'd switch over to that, hit that and it goes back to red and I can adjust my threshold, click this again, stores your settings. Every time you set your threshold settings in here, your profile and you leave it, it's stored in the memory. So next time you're, you come back to the system, it'll all be in there, which is extremely helpful there.